Hello guys, have you been wondering how you can start living in one of the countries that is regarded as the best place to raise children? If the answer is yes, well, there's a unique opportunity for you to achieve your immigration dream. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can legally migrate to Malta in 15 working days. If you move to Malta under this program, in just five years, you'll be qualified to apply for permanent residency. And the best part is that you'll be able to take your family with you your children will be able to access first class health and education free of charge. The supporting spouse, which is your wife, will have an open work visa, which will allow them to work in any sectors of the economy. And your family will be able to travel around all the 27 states that makes up the Schengen zone. I know the next question is, how do you move to Malta, which is regarded as paradise on earth? Let me explain to you. There are four ways that you can move to Malta. The first one is through work permit route, which was announced on the 24th of January of this year. The government introduced what is known as a new high skilled work permit. With this work permit visa, you only need an employer to be able to pay you a minimum of 25,000 euros. If you get a job from an employer in Malta in 50 working days, your visa will be granted. If you are living in a country where there are no Maltese embassy, you have to submit your passport, contract letter, police clearance certificate, health insurance to the Maltese Embassy online. And within 15 working days, you'll be able to get your work permit, which will be issued and delivered to your doorstep. And after five years of living and working in Malta, you'll be qualified to apply for permanent residency. I will show you how you can easily get a job in Malta. And I will also show you the list of agencies in Malta that have good records of recruiting foreigners to work in Malta. The other way to move to Malta is through the study route. Do you know that if you graduate from Malta and you work in that country for a year, 70% of your tuition will be refunded. If you are a student looking for a cheap school to study abroad, I would suggest that you study in one of the Maltese universities. You will be surprised by how much you'll be charged and you can take your family to Malta as a student. The third option is through digital normal route. This visa, with this visa, you can move to Malta as long as you are in the Schengen zone or you are a citizen of one of the European Union states and have a job. This allows you to enter Malta and find a job and start working. Right now as we speak, well, the government is trying to reduce the influx of foreigners coming into Malta through this route. And guess what? they have increased the salary threshold. This route will be replaced by the high skilled work permit route, which I've explained previously. From this, you can denote that the government is trying to attract more workers from overseas and discourage more people from coming through the digital normal visa. The last option is what is known as the family reunion route. This allows you to come to Malta once you are married to a Maltese citizen. If and the sole aim of this channel is to help as many people to relocate abroad without breaking a bank, without needing to spend money on immigration lawyers or agents. So it will be in your best interest to so please subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. If you find value in this video, please give this video a thumbs up and leave your questions in the comment section. I'll be glad to respond to all your questions. Come with me to my computer room. Let me show you how you can get this job all right guys so this is one of the sites i'm going to be showing you guys how you can search for job in Malta that will enable you to relocate to Malta. so once you get an employer from this site the first site is just in Malta.com. so you see few jobs knowledge center salary calculator companies if you want to get the list of companies that employs in Malta, you can click there to find job you can see the search um, box you can search for any job you have 20 searches that means these are the odd list people are always searching for accounting hospitality skill work sales business development administrative marketing you scroll down you see fisher jobs all right so these are job seekers you can create a profile here then these are for employers okay so if you want to create a profile you click this link you create a profile so now for the purpose of this video, I won't create any profile. Let's just search for, let's say, construction worker. You search, type it as click search. You see, we have this job. This job it says it's going to expire in eight days. It's going to expire in nine days. These are recently 
uploaded skilled construction worker, site agent, excavator, site foreman, blaster. So the list is endless. You go through the ones that you fit in, you just click on it and apply. Are you seeing it? So you see, we have it till page 100. So we're just on the first page. So they are much. So if you want cleaning job, you can click on search for cleaning. Cleaner. Let's search for cleaner. You see, we have 631 construction jobs. Okay. So we search now. So you see cleaner cleaning job. This will expire in seven days. This has been here. Nobody has taken it. So you see there's a lot of need for cleaners. So these are cleaning jobs. If you look at it, we have six cleaning jobs in water, which has not been taken. So you can click and just anyone you're interested in, you just click on it. Let's as you want to apply for this, you click on it and read the job description responsibilities. These are the things I always tell you to put in your CV. If you want to get this job, you see it. These are the things you read this and also take one or two and put on your CV. That's how you get jobs because this is what we call tailoring of CV. All right. So guys, what we'll do now, you, you can log in to apply, but I don't want to go into that. So that's how you apply. You click here, you follow the process and just apply. You put in your email and, and password, you apply. Are you getting it? It's very simple. You can create an account here, right? All right, that's for that um, site. We have the next one, which is Job Plus. Just Plus, this is one of the sites that the government are really using. So we have Find a Job, Find a Course, Applying for Funds. If you're already in Mota, you can use this to get funds. Trade Testing, Knowledge Base, and where you can create your CV as well here. Yeah. So you can create your profile using the sign up now. Are you seeing it? So for you to look for job, you just search for the job. Look at jobs. If it's courses, if it's for school, you can use courses. If it's jobs, you click on jobs. Put on the, put, put in the keywords and just search for it. Let's look at the odd list. We have added in one day. You see, this is just a job that was added yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday, you can view all the jobs. You see all the jobs. You see, let it load and you will see all the jobs that has been added. So these are all the jobs that we added yesterday. You see the list is endless. Are you seeing it? So for this job, you see window cleaner and rope access technician. This is the amount, 1,200 to 1,600 per month. And it's a full, full day job, full time. This is the date it was posted, 21st of July, 2024. So these are the things you read about this job. It says, are you passionate about delivering sparking results and bringing clarity to the world? Those are one of the things they are asking. Cleaning, domestic, commercial, rope access. These are the things you're going to be looking at. Qualifications. It says, valid driver license is a must. Already you have, your, you must be a driver in your country and that's valid. Fluent in both Maltese and English. So if you can learn Maltese a bit, you are good to go. English. So depending, there are some jobs that will even allow you to come to Malta and start working without knowing Maltese. But you that is very good in English, you can also apply for this job. You can learn how to speak in um, any language with the Duolingo app. Go to App Store and just download it. So guys, that is how you do it. You apply by using this. So you can put in, fill all this form, Maltese. Just click how good you are, competencies, inspect work together with client clean and maintain tools. These are the things you need to put in your CV. Those of you that are looking for cleaning job, you copy and paste this and just edit it, modify it so that you can use it for every other job. Past experience, how many years you put it there, driving license, you put it there. So guys, when you are done, you just click on apply. Are you seeing it? So that's how you do it. This is where you search for any job like construction. Okay. So you can search for any job and see if it's available. So these are is loading. 
So these are the jobs under construction, plumber, laborer, engineers, construction worker, construction helper. So you can just look for the ones if you are into construction, like roofer, plumber, painters, these are jobs for you, okay? You do the same process and apply. And you see this is per week, 213 to 300 um, euro per week. So that's it. The next site I will look, uh, we're going to look at is the employers list. We are going to look at all the employers in Motan that have been given license. The site is dia.gov.mt. You go there and just search list of employment agencies. When you type list of employment agencies, this will pop out. You click on this list of employment agencies. All right, you click on, click here, click there. So guys, this is the list of all the um, employers that have been licensed to bring people into mortar. So from the top, you start, you just take anyone that you feel is related to your feed and put it on Google. So if you want to take this, just copy, just copy and put it on Google and search it. So you go down, search for the particular company. So this is the company. So first of all, you will determine what they are into. Market Intelligence Service Company Limited. Just read about it. Once you read about it, you see this email address, you copy it and send them a letter of inquiry or job application letter. So you just go to your email just go to your email i say you use a gmail account so you just go to your gmail now let me just show you for those of you who want to know how to apply for this kind of job that has no link so we're going to do something very quickly so i want to go into my email box quickly i don't want this video to be too long so you just click on compose so that's why if you, if you want to apply for a job ensure you have letter of inquiry that you've typed already so that life will be easy for you so you put the email there you put the subject here anything you want to say just say job application all right or job inquiry or letter of inquiry so this is where you will now write all the things that will sell you out to your potential employer. Then you attach your CV and any other relevant document into this. So to, to attach, you click on that um, pin, pin sign, and just let's assume this is a CV, just put it there. Then you click send. That is it, guys. So guys, um, for those of you that are interested in schooling in mortar, we have cheap schools. You go to Google, just type cheap schools in mortar. And these are some of the list of schools that are very cheap in mortar. So if you click on this link, it will get here. And this is study abroad aid. So when you come here, you can read about everything that has to do with mortar, study in mortar, universities, five universities. So these are the five university mortars. Like the first one you see, international um, bachelor's tuition, 5,000 euros. So those of you that are going to Canada, uh, Australia, UK, paying every amount, this is very cheap. Domestic bachelor's tuition, zero for this school. You see, this is some of the university and their um, prices. So this is the first one, American University. If you're already there, it's zero. For international is 5,000. For this one is 6,500 for international student. If you're already there is zero. For this one is zero for domestic. International is 8,500 to 10,500. International master's tuition, you see is one nine. For domestic is one nine. So this school is quite nice, European graduate school. American University of Malta, you see it. These are all the things the schools you can think of so how do i apply some of you will be asking how do i apply for school so he says these are the common question how do i get admission to a university you can read this read all these and you will know how to go about it guys 
so guys i will stop here i don't want this video to be too long